Hi chemists, my name is Kim, and today we are going to be talking about organic chemistry. Specifically, we are going to be discussing alkanes. So we're going to identify alkanes as a class or a type of organic molecule, and we're going to explain what makes alkanes unique. We're going to learn how to name an alkane if we are given a chemical formula or molecular structure. And we'll be able to use a prefix table that you will find on your chemistry reference table. So make sure you have your New York State chemistry reference table with you for this video. And then finally, if we are given the name of an alkane, we are going to work to determine its chemical formula from that name. Let's go. In general, when we talk about organic chemicals, we are talking about chemicals that are containing the element carbon. A particular type of organic molecule is known as a hydrocarbon. This is a really broad category. Hydrocarbons encompass lots of different types of carbons. Simply, hydrocarbons contain only carbon and hydrogen. They are the simplest type of organic molecule because they only contain two elements. And so it's important to start learning about how scientists think about classify and name hydrocarbons before we get more complicated. An alkane is the simplest hydrocarbon. An alkane is a hydrocarbon where there are only single covalent bonds. The simplest alkane is methane with the molecular formula CH4. The carbon is the central atom and makes four single covalent bonds to hydrogen atoms. The next simplest alkane is called ethane, C2H6, as you can see in the picture here. Ethane consists of two carbon atoms with a single covalent bond between them. Each carbon is then able to bond to three hydrogen atoms. The alkane series progresses or increases from there, increasing the length of the carbon chain by one carbon at a time. Structural formulas for ethane, propane, and butane are shown on the right. Notice that all of these molecules contain only carbon and hydrogen and all of these molecules contain only single bonds. Those are two key ways that you know you have an alkane. Only carbon and hydrogen, only single bonds. These alkanes are specifically called straight chain alkanes because the carbon atoms are connected in one continuous chain with no branches. So all the carbon atoms are in one line. Naming and writing structural and molecular for formulas for the straight chain alkanes is straightforward. The name of each alkane consists of a prefix that specifies the number of carbon atoms and then the ending ane. So that's where methane, ethane, propane, butane come from. The molecular formula follows the pattern of C, N, H2N plus 2, where N is the number of carbons in the chain. I'll show you what I mean by that. So if we look at table Q on our reference table, you will see this general formula, CNH2N plus 2, next to the word alkane. We will also be talking about alkenes and alkynes, but not in this video. We're just focusing on alkanes today. N is telling us the number of carbon atoms. This general formula is telling you how to determine how many carbons and hydrogens there are in any alkane given only its name. So notice for ethane, the chemical formula would be C2 because there are two carbons in ethane and two times two is four plus two is six. So that is how I would use the name ethane to get the chemical formula. You will notice that on table P, you have a table of all of the prefixes for all of the different numbers of carbon atoms, one through 10. Notice here we have methane, ethane, and propane filled in for you on this table. I would like you to take a look at the organic prefixes table and think about what the name of each of these alkanes would be, as well as how many carbon atoms would be in each alkane. Take 30 seconds to use the model for methane, ethane, and propane. Try to fill in the rest of the alkanes. Pause the video if you need more time.
So looking at four carbons in a straight chain alkane, we're really just gonna run straight down the table of organic prefixes. Now the ending of an alkane always ends in ane, A-N-E, and I use the prefix to get the beginning part. So butane would be the name of four carbon alkane. I would write C4H10 because four times two is eight and eight plus two is 10. Pentane would be my hydrocarbon with five carbons, hexane with six, heptane with seven, octane with eight, nonane with nine, and decane with 10. Notice each of the molecular formulas here. You will see that for each carbon, in order to determine how many hydrogen atoms I would have in the alkane containing that many carbons, I multiplied the number of carbons by two and then added two. The reason that that trick works is because, I'm gonna go back to a picture here. If you look at the structural formula for ethane, notice each carbon has double the number of hydrogens plus the two on the end, right? So we have to remember for butane, right? All four of these carbons each have twice the number of hydrogens. So four times two is eight plus the two on the end. That's where that formula comes from. We're gonna try another practice problem. So without looking back at that table that you just filled in, uh, we're gonna not memorize these names. We're gonna try and reason them out using our table P here. What would the chemical formula be of hexane? What would be the chemical formula of hexane? And here's that formula there for you from table Q. So hexane is going to be six carbon atoms. So six times two is 12, plus two is 14. So the chemical formula would be C6H14. Let's try another. What would the chemical formula be of nonane? So the prefix N-O-N is for nine. So two times nine is 18 plus two is 20. So C9H20 would be our chemical formula. Try drawing the Lewis structure, or in other words, the structural formula for pentane. So draw me the structural formula or the Lewis structure for pentane. So pentane, pent is the prefix for five. So two times five plus two. So the chemical formula, This I won't be done when I write the chemical formula, but I can write the chemical formula. It should be C5H12. And I'm going to use that information to draw. Remember, alkanes always have single bonds and just carbons in a line connected to hydrogens. So really simple, I'm drawing five carbon atoms each carbon atom has four bonds coming from it. And I end up with 12 hydrogens and five carbons all connected by single bonds. Should look something like this. Last question. See if you can determine the name of this molecule. So I'm gonna first count the carbons and count the hydrogens. If I count them all up, I see that my formula is C7 
H16. So if I've got seven carbons, these are all single bonds, and it's a hydrocarbon, that tells me I have an alkane, which means I will take the prefix for seven, hept, and add ane at the end. So this would be heptane. Let's check back in on our learning goals. Hopefully we feel more confident identifying what makes an alkane an alkane and either naming an alkane from its chemical formula or molecular structure or the other way around, right? Given the name of an alkane, figuring out its chemical formula or structure. Nice job today.